Hi, I'm Diane Rogers. All right, now everybody thinks I'm crazy, but I want to show you how to poach an egg without an egg poacher. In other words, one of those double boiler like little things with the little cups in it. You know, I sent, uh, um, had a catering that we did many years ago, and I sent one of the girls that worked for me for a long time out with these poached eggs, and I told her how to rewarm them. And the stories I got back were something else. She said, my God, she was so scared to do it because she had no idea that it was going to work. But anyway, let's start with the basic poached eggs. So here's what I have. I have a flat pan with sides. I have some water to the depth of about an inch. And I have brought it to a simmer. In other words, tiny little bubbles, not a hard boil. You don't want a hard boil. Now into this, I'm going to put just a splash of white vinegar, no more than a tablespoon. I know a lot of people like to use uh, any kind of vinegar, whether it be dark vinegars, whatever, but I don't like the color that the eggs pick up when you use a darker vinegar. What the vinegar is going to do is get the whites to coagulate. So I'm still now, because of the temperature of the vinegar, now I'm still up to the tiny little simmer. Now what you want to do too, there's two ways of doing this. You can pre-crack these into a bowl and then drop them in. Or if you're careful, crack the eggs on something flat, open them with your thumbs, and gently drop them in to the simmering water. And by gently dropping them in, you'll keep the yolk looking good and the white, and you won't get any shell in there. So these don't take long to do at all. Now to do it so that you could rewarm them the next day is to make sure that the whites are just cooked but the yolks are still runny. And then you pull them out with a slotted spoon and then after you pull them out with a slotted spoon then you can refrigerate them and they'll rewarm like this in a little bit of simmering water in a matter of two minutes. And I used to serve corned beef hash like that, serving them with poached eggs and telling people, and I got people to do this. They thought I was crazy, but it works out great. Here, just take the egg off, put it into simmering water, and it'll work perfect. So you can see that with this little bit of simmering water, it's gently, gently poaching this egg and keeping the egg intact. So. There's really not a lot other to do than just wait for the whites to be cooked and the yolks to be still runny. Now we're going to eat these right away, so I am going to cook these all the way so that the whites are cooked so there's no rewarming. And I have a slotted spoon in hand so that with the slotted spoon I can pull them out. And you could put these on a paper towel too if you want them to drain, but this is a pretty good size slots in the spoon so that they'll drain well. And we're going to put them out, and then I'm going to put some eggs benedict together. How does that sound? Some swirl the eggs. I don't like to move the eggs around too much in the pan. I like to keep them where they are because I really don't want those eggs, the egg yolks, broken. I want them to stay looking really nice and pretty. And like I say, if I see that this might be starting to boil a little too hard, play with your heat. Gas heat, the nice uh, part about gas flame, is that you can control the heat and turn it down instantly but just tiny little bubbles that's it and these it's getting there only takes about three or four minutes to poach the egg of course depending on on how hot the water is but and you want to make sure that you have the water to a simmer before you drop the eggs in all right so i'm going to start pulling these out the whites are cooked perfectly. The yolk's still a little bit runny. Um, I'm not one, I personally don't like undercooked egg whites. And with a slotted spoon, we'll get rid of the trim that will just naturally fall off and into the platter. And the platter has been warmed slightly, but you'll be able to see that these are quite lovely looking eggs. And you'll pr be pulling them out of the pan as you put them into the pan. So, there you have it. 
I'm going to turn these, I'll show you what they look like with Eggs Benedict, but there you have it. Perfectly poached eggs. They're pretty and easy to do. It only takes a couple of minutes. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll show you what they look like when they have hollandaise on the top.